Well, on Saturday, November the 26th at the Epsom Downs Racecourse in Surrey, the Quest Boxing League brings the curtain down on a fantastic season of championship action. And joining me here tonight at the Top Dog Boxing Gym in New Malden in Surrey, I am joined by light heavyweight title contender Adam Smith, who rematches Nay Scott on the season finale. And Adam, it's great to see you last time out. Hello, we saw hello. you uh, in a fantastic fight against uh, Nay Scott, a very, very competitive, very close fight. But coming up, it's the rematch, November the 26th. And um, first and foremost, before we uh, delve deep into this fight and, uh, and talk about what we have in prospect, First and foremost, how are you? I'm feeling good, I'm feeling good. I'm good getting in the sparring, you know, swimming constantly. Just feeling good, I'm feeling good, strong, as always. Brilliant, well, let's kind of, um, let's recap on the fight because I've already spoken to Nay Scott in the build up to this fight, got his views and opinions on the first fight, obviously the build up to that fight, etc., yeah. etc. But, you know, firstly, from your perspective, there was a, there was a little bit of confusion at the weigh in. Um, you, uh, you came in overweight from what the agreed weight, and I think there was some confusion between your coach yeah. and what you thought you had to be. Absolutely. But I thought it was a light heavy, and I didn't know it was set at a certain weight. I thought it was a, a, at the top of light heavy. I came in at the top of light heavy thinking. But it was all, uh, yeah, as I say, we, we went, it is what it is. I came in thinking one thing and then uh, came in over. But I had to get in the sauna and lose it for the next few hours. It tired me out then, didn't it? Yeah, I was going to say, I mean, for a, for a fighter, obviously, same day weigh in. Yeah. Um, you had to jump in the, the sauna to try and sort of uh, cut off some of the excess weight. Absolutely. Um, how much do you think that affected your performance on the night? To be fair, it didn't. I don't think it did affect my performance too much. To be fair, I, I still because I went and ate a nice health. I still went and ate, ate nice, drunk some water. Do you know what I mean? Tried to. I was a bit tired when I was at home before coming back to the fight. I was a bit tired. I was falling asleep. I think, I'm tired. And even my friend joined me in the sauna to keep me company while while I was getting it down. He was feeling tired. He was like, "Oh, you can't do this again." He was like, "You know, we're tired." So, I, but then when I got back, I was feeling good. I felt fine. By the time I got to the fight, I felt, I felt absolutely fine. Yeah. Let's um, let's break down the fight. So obviously that wasn't for the title. That was just a non-title fight uh, over three twos. Um, and with the quest format, obviously it's very very sharp, explosive. As a fighter, you really don't have an opportunity to sort of uh, take yeah, your foot yeah. off the gas. It's, it's not like yeah, it's not like when you see when you're in the pro bouts, you can see in the first few rounds they feel each other out. It's just we've got three rounds to show, or four rounds in the next fight. Just to, so it's more explosive. It's don't have time to feel each other out as much. It's, it's like, Still good, still feel good. So um, memories of the first fight. Try and yeah. try and sort of um, cast your mind back to that fight, Epsom, September the seventeenth. How did you feel that fight went for you? Uh, do you know what? The first round I feel was quite a breeze. The first one was a breeze. I, the commentators, well, no, anyway, the, the, I thought it was quite a breeze. But and the last, as I thought, I've just got him, just where I want him. He just. He, he got me with maybe the last five to eight seconds, I think I've counted. He got me with a, a flush couple shots. Fair play to him, he got me with a flush couple shots. But I still think the first round, nice, nice and easy. Second round, again, I was feeling it, it got a bit messed, messed, messed up, I feel, to, to be fair. I think the ref had a word of me the first time we clinched, saying, I think, something about my hand and his neck. So then I'm thinking, where do I stand? And then, uh, so then I was trying my hardest not to make any mistakes for the ref, so I didn't want to get any points taken away from me. But then, I don't think, Ney's Ney good, a strong, strong opponent, he's strong, fit, but I don't think, to, he wanted to fight a bit closer, he wanted to mess up that, he didn't, after the first round I think he didn't want to have that same fight again, so he was coming in nice and close, but then when he was coming in close and nice and close, I think he was doing a few illegal things, possibly, myself, I think like, I'm looking at the ref saying, you're talking to me, can you talk to him now? Like, he was giving me rabbit punches and things, I like, spoil it, but even though I think I watched it back, I think the commentators were saying that like they were good shots. I'm thinking, wait a second. So, so as I say, the second and third round got messed up a little bit. It got a bit in, bit bit chest to chest rather than toe to toe. But still felt felt went away. I, I didn't feel too bad. I feel like as I say, I give them a little bit of confidence at the end of the first round, give them a bit of confidence again. But I, I feel like man to man, I feel like I left feeling fine, like happy, even thinking not. I, even the decision was a draw, I still left thinking that like, I won. And I feel like he was, feel like he needed to do a bit more. Feel like, feel, so, but maybe not, after listening back to the fight, he might think he's won it. He might think he's coming in, going to do the same thing. Hmm. Whatever he's doing, he's done. I mean, we always talk about the scoring of boxing and how subjective it is. And 
Also, I think from a kind of fan's perspective, there's a big difference from watching a fight live in an arena when you're watching it from one angle and then watching it back on TV when you've got all of the different angles from the different camera positions, you've got the, the sort of the, the commentary, you've got the crowd. It's a, it's a very, very different experience. So, you know, have you, um, have you watched the full fight back? I have, yeah. yeah. And, and, what, um, and how did the fight, watching it back, differ from how you felt in the ring on the night? Um, it didn't differ too much. I, I, think I feel I remember the same as when I watched it back. I was just watching it back, I was looking forward to hearing the commentary and just seeing it in a different way, do you know what I mean? Seeing it from, from what everyone else gets to see. Yeah. Well, as I say, it got a bit messy. It was got a bit, me a bit messy, but that's because what, what else am I going to do? If he's coming up here, what else am I, I meant to clinch? So I've, got to, I've got to clinch him in there. So I think yeah, it got a bit messy. I mean, we're, we're going to look ahead now. Obviously, the, the rematch this time over four rounds for the, uh, the vacant regional light heavyweight title at Epsom Downs Racecourse at the season finale. It's a, it's a mouth-watering fight in prospect. But for you, let's start with your preparations. You know, since the last fight, how have your preparations been? And when you knew that this fight was going to happen and you, and you were obviously fighting for the title, talk us through the kind of the emotions and the, and the mindset coming into camp. Well, do you know what? At first, I found out about it quite shortly after our first fight because it must have been quite an entertaining fight. So, straight away, I was thinking, oh, well, I want to have a couple of weeks to chill. So, I had a couple of weeks at what I want, do you know what I mean? And just, just had put my feet up. And then, since then, I've been in the gym, just progressively getting. Because I don't want to have to go in the sauna. And, I don't want to have to go in the sauna and drop any weight this time. I think I've got about three weeks left, just over three weeks. I'm just going to make sure I'm nice and fit, just been swimming. As I say, I've got, I've been plagued with injuries, but we, 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 war wounds, let's call them, we, we keep pushing through them. So some things I can't do training like, but swimming I can do, and sparring, I love a bit of, I love a spar. Um, so I'm always in, I'm, I'm in here plenty. I mean, just my preparations have been like they have been, nice and warm. Cool. If we take the first round as a, sort of like a, an example of, um, of how you, the, the next fight could potentially go, Obviously, it was a great, a great first round for yourself. I mean, you seemed to be outboxing him. When you were at range, you seemed to be sort of, um, you know, you seemed to be sort of more comfortable when you had time to pick your shots to move. But like you say, as the fight progressed, as um, Nay Scott came forward, he was on your chest. He was throwing sort of, uh, you know, tight hooks. He was sort of uh, aggressive, you know, breaking Absolutely. that distance down. You know, what, it, what do you have to do, I suppose, is the question in this fight to, to make it your fight I mean how, how do you approach well, this to be fair on the last fight only other times he was making it a bit uncomfortable when he was doing like he was wiggling wiggling up here and trying to give me rabbit punches where I should have in my head I'm just waiting for the ref just to break that and we go back to toe to toe and I can lay my traps again but uh, that didn't happen hopefully it happens this time but if, if it this time it gets all he wants to fight chest to chest and I'll just have to I'll fight back certainly with him even though that is not my game plan a nice clean fight I like to make sure it's nice but, I'll, but as I said, I think it's four rounds this time. I just about got ready for three rounds last time, to be to be perfectly honest. So four rounds is going to be... So if I'm fit enough to go four or five rounds, then I think he's gone in the first couple. Maybe that's that's strong talk, but that's maybe if he puts my plan. Who knows? Who knows? He's, strong, he's a strong, tough fella. Strong, tough fella. I was going to ask you, I mean, um, when you were in there with Scott, obviously... You know, he, he's he's seen yourself up close and personal over three rounds. But what are the dangers for you? Do you think coming into this fight against Scott? You know, what what are the things that you consciously have to look out for and negate for you to be able to win? Um, well, he likes to look. Is he going to see this before the fight or after the fight? No, he'll see it before the fight. Uh, before the fight. Well, I don't want to give him too many plans. Can you put? He probably knows his strengths already. I know his strengths. I think I've, I've spotted most of his strengths. Uh, I don't want to give anything away. I don't want to give anything too much away if he's going to see it. But he, I, know, I know his strengths. He's, he's strong. And he's, but I feel like I know which shots to avoid. I know which shots I can give him deterrence to stop throwing. And I feel like he's, he's fit. That's what, I've just got to match his fitness. He's fit. He's fit. He's fit. And he's game. And, he, and he's obviously trains hard. He's probably going to be training like his rookie after getting that draw. He, he wasn't happy with that. Probably be training like it's rocky, but 
I've got heart. He's never. I feel like I saw his last uh, match before before mine, and I think he dominated. He didn't come forward and push him back. Uh, I think he won, but I'm not, I'm not sure. I can't remember. But he was strong. But the thing about that fight, I feel like the other fella was a bit because when he when they come swinging, I feel like it's a bit daunting. Do you know what I mean? But you're not gonna you're not gonna scare me. I guarantee you're not going to scare me. I'm going to be there fighting, even if I take a big shot. Sometimes I overcompensate. As I say, I've got war wounds. So as I say, when I feel like one of my wounds, I'm going and I overcompensate, so the shot looks bigger than it is. But really, they're never hurting me. Not once. I can't feel one time he hurt me in that fight. Not one time. Not my, myself. Not one time. And I, there was a couple times I think I hurt him. So I feel like we'll be right. We'll be doing this this week. I mean, like I say, it's a fascinating fight in prospects. Absolutely. You know, we've, all, we've already seen you guys go toe to toe over three rounds. This is an even bigger fight. But Absolutely. for you, you know, to go in there to, to get the victory, to, to capture the light heavyweight title, how, how would that feel? And what would that mean for you? Because I know, like you say, you've had your ups and downs as a fighter. You know, you've had your sort of injury problems that were, that's curtailed your boxing career. But Absolutely. for you to be crowned champion to lift that belt and walk away from uh, from Epsom as that light heavyweight champion what, what would that mean to you I feel, I feel great do you know what it is I, I don't think I came to Quest when it was under I think it was Queensbury once upon a time when I first came I think I was 16 or 17 I came in I was feeling like I was going to be the world chat heavy, uh, well not the heavyweight I think I was going to be super middleweight champion at that point thinking I'm just going through I went through some Injuries that was anyway soul destroying injuries that took me out of the game for a long time. So now to come back just over ten years later, I would I would like to go and take that belt. I come back a different man, maybe not as some skills have been taken away, but I come back strong and a tough, tough man. You know what I mean? So we'll be sweet, a different version of me, but it'll be, it'll be still the same way. Great about that title. Well, like I say, I know after the first fight, this rematch is going to be everything and a little bit more. So. We look forward to that, as I say. It's on Saturday, November the 26th. It is the 2022 season finale at the Epsom Downs Racecourse in Surrey. And Adam Smith, he will be taking on Nay Scott to decide the destination of the Quest Regional Light Heavyweight title. All guns amazing.